Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I want to do a little uh, overview of products available uh, from the brand Lockbee. If you are not familiar with Lockbee, Lockbee came out of uh, it came out of a brand called Bond Travel Gear, and uh, Chris at Lockbee then formed this company uh, and has really gone on to make some amazing products that are designed for everyday carry and stationery and that kind of stuff. Um, American based. I've loved the company for, well, since they were Bond Travel Gear, I reviewed a couple of their items back then and thought they were absolutely amazing. And uh, now with Lockbee, I think they're absolutely astonishing. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk through the four main products that Lockbee have available um, in their current run and then talk about the different colors uh, and a basic kind of like what you can do with them. So this here, this is the Field Journal. This is pro probably my favorite Lockbee product. It is a, well, it's a notebook cover, uh, but it's so much more than that. It's got these, firstly, waxed canvas material, really lovely, beautiful stitching on everything, um, great elastics and um, aircraft grade aluminium um, clip, which I think is both a fabulous uh, design feature, but also very, very practical and, you know, um, a really solid clip to use. The inside of each of these is in an accented uh, colour material um, and has this sort of like um, beehive honeycomb kind of uh, texture to it, uh, which, you know, is uh, in keeping with Lockbee and their logo is a, uh, is a bee. So um, the inside of the field journal has pockets down the side, um, and here is a Lockby uh, little field si note size notebook. We'll just bump the camera stand there, um, which fits in those. Top one is Velcroed. There's a larger pocket down the side here, which would be great for, you know, a notebook. Um, and then also you've got a pouch on the other side uh, and these elastics where you can place the um, the notebooks over the elastic. You can fit up to four in here, uh, making it like a modular notebook system, like say the Traveler's Notebook. Um, and then on the uh, other side here, um, you can fit a hardcover A5 uh, notebook fairly easily. Um, and then it closes up and then you put your little clip in and you've got all your notebooks and everything nice and on hand here and a really handy little pen loop on the side there. So you can always have a pen on hand. This is a great product because it is weather resistant. This canvas, uh, waxed canvas will, um, it's not waterproof, but it will sort of uh, hold its own against like light drizzle and things like that. But it also protects because it's robust. Your books aren't gonna get dog-eared and things like that in your uh, bag and because it's a5 size or just a bit bigger it fits comfortably in most bags as well when you get the field journal it actually comes with one of these um, sewn bound notebooks which i'll talk about in just a second as well the next item i quickly want to talk about is the tool roll this is a really useful uh, product different sizes there for the clip and basically you unclip it and you unroll it and you have a whole lot of storage capacity for your everyday carry items. They can be pens. You've got a multitude of little slots, you know, for those. Or some tools like maybe, you know, a knife in one of these bigger ones. And then everything down to, you know, the pockets in the back here, which are perfect for, once again, a field notes size notebook. And then you've got a little zipper pouch here on the side really great for your smaller items. And then you just roll it up and then put that in. And once again, all your everyday carry items are really safely stored. Um, all of these items I should say today, each of these I have done a review of, uh, which I will link to down below because I go into a bit more detail and show a few more options on everything. This is really just an overview, um, but it's a really great uh, carry for like a pencil case if you want to carry all your bits or a tool case or a a makeup case or an artist case or whatever the case may be. The next item I want to talk about today is the pocket journal. This is uh, the, the smaller brother of the field journal. 
Um, same waxed canvas material, same nylon uh, lining, which is lovely. Uh, and this is designed for a field note size notebook, uh, which can be slit or two. Uh, it can be sort of slotted down in the side there and down in there. There's also, if you look into the uh, pocket here, there's smaller pockets here for things like business cards or USB drives or whatever you need to carry, as well as little pockets on the front for a pen. Or um, These are fairly tight, so I wouldn't put, you know, big pens um, in this. There we go. So you get a pen in the front there. And this is really great, once again, for that sort of smaller carry. What I tend to use this for is something like uh, if I'm going out on a on a day trip somewhere or out, just out, you know, for the day and I've got shopping lists or, I, you know, addresses I need to take note of, things like that. It's just a really great simple carry item uh, for that sort of smaller carry. And the last case we're looking at today is the four pen case. This is the Quattro. And for me, this is one of the items that has the most thought gone into it. Once again, wax material, beautiful double sewn uh, edging there, that same lovely um, nylon on the inside. A little Velcro pouch on the back there, which uh, is really handy. A couple of little pen slots on the front, but four pen slots on the inside um, in alternating directions. So you can put one, two, three, four. And some of these are big pens. I've got the Pelican uh, M800, the Pilot Custom 823. I've got a Sailor uh, Progu, which is a bit smaller, and the Estherbrook Camden, which is a bigger pen. And they all fit in there nice and comfortable. And you zip it up, and they're secure. They are absolutely not going anywhere. Um, and they're padded. You know, it could be a bit rough with these because it's a well-made case designed to protect these things. But because they're alternating, what you don't get is you don't get the clips hitting, but also it's hard to tell in this angle, but when it closes, they close alternating with each other. So that keeps the profile of the case slim. So it's not two on two. It's not like two pens thick. It's like just over one pen thick because they end up sort of sitting like that in the case. Once again, done a full review of this so you can check it out. But this is a really great option, really great case for pen carry. And I, when they just when they announced that they were doing a pen case, I was over the moon. So all the cases I have shown you so far are in this beautiful um, brown waxed canvas, which I really love. I love the aesthetic of that. It's got kind of like a vintage -y kind of feel. But they also have three other colours available um, across these items. And those are what I'm going to show you now. Um, firstly, after the brown, they came out with the black. Now, these are all used. These are all my products that I've been using and they picked up life. So you can see like scuff marks and things like that in the waxed canvas. But I kind of like that. So the black is nice solid black. Um, I know the same sort of gunmetal kind of uh, material for the uh, clip. And then a light brown interior, which is very, very classy. And then recently they came out with two new colours. Another field journal that I'm really excited about using is the navy. So it's a nice sort of rich navy blue um, and has a slightly, a kind of more khaki uh, brown as opposed to the light brown interior of the black. Both very, very nice. I really enjoy uh, the fact that the trim on the navy is such a distinct, uh, different colour uh, to the trim on, you know, sort of the other uh, cases. Um, and then the last one I'm going to show you is another one of their new colours. Um, and this is the pocket journal once again. Um, it is the charcoal. So we put this alongside the black. You can see it is slightly more grey and the trim uh, is much more pronounced charcoal than the black. And this has um, the same colour interior as the, the black. So it's a very nice... It's a really interesting uh, colour combination, that black or charcoal, with the, the light brown interior. So these are the four colour options across a range uh, of the Lockbee products. So the pen cases, great. Tool cases, great. The field journal and the pocket journal, amazing. Um, and But these products sometimes are only as good as the paper you put in them. And luckily, Lockbee has you covered for that as well. So I showed you a couple of the Lockbee notebooks just before, um, and I'm gonna show you a few more here. 
Here is a range of what they do. So I've got the pocket ones first. They do a plain. Plain is plain. Now these use Tomal River paper uh, at the moment. Tomal River is going through a state, transitionary stage just at the moment, but at the moment they use Tomal River paper, which is very lovely, lightweight Japanese paper, um, if you're not familiar with it. Uh, really fountain pen friendly, really re uh, ink resistant. They also have uh, like ruled and dot grid versions. And um, here are the A5 notebook versions that I will show you. So we have dot grid, which is your typical standard dot grid paper. 72 pages, and this is a typical A5 size. They have two ruled versions. A, the ruled, which is um, a standard ruling, um, you know, with numbers down the side and all those kinds of things. Um, and then a wide rule, which is a, like, wider rule uh, and more sort of just distinct, um, you know, no margins and things like that. They have a plain version here which is just the plain paper, no ruling on it whatsoever. And then they've recently come out with the planner. This one I particularly enjoy. So it's got calendar pages. It's all undated, so you can start it when you need to. And then you've got your weeks. So each week is set out with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then a notes section at the bottom. And um, it's just really simple, really nicely made, and... In something like the field journal between all the, these notebooks you can have a really great setup of books to cover your needs so the kind of thing I would do is I would have say the planner as the planner you know you have this as your diary you go through and put in your dates all those kinds of things and have that as your diary and then you might have a plain one for sketching, a ruled one for taking notes during the day, and a dot grid if you're into bullet journaling. Um, bullet journaling is a wonderful journaling um, system that is great on the go because it allows you to make lists and project pages uh, while keeping you organised and on track. So that was a range of products from Lockbee and their full colour range as it stands now towards the end of, uh, what year is this? 2021. It could be 2019, it could be 2020, it could be 2023 at this stage, who knows. Um, so this is end, as an end of 2021 and this is a range of the beautiful Lockbee products um, that are available. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below uh, or contact me in any of my videos here or drop me an email uh, which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. Now, a big thank you to Lockbee, who have been amazing supporters of my channel um, and have provided a number of items over the years for me to review. Um, I am incredibly grateful, uh, and it is the support of companies like Lockbee who make this channel possible. So thank you for watching. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy your accessories, and I'll talk to you soon.